My name is Adante Kwachi. I am uh, now uh, in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, my specialty is uh, interventional radiology. Uh, I did my medical training at the Medical University of South Carolina, uh, did radiology at University of Kentucky, and did my fellowship at the uh, prestigious Mount Sinai in New York City. I think it's unavoidable. Uh, in medicine that we're going to have health equity uh, and health disparities. So when I look back at some of my training and uh, how I want to now treat my patients, I think one of the biggest things uh, is just being visual and being seen. I think uh, any uh, underrepresented minority or physician will probably uh, relate to a patient coming in and just seeing you and for whatever reason, right or wrong, uh, having a welcoming spirit. And that's because of, we know our history uh, here in the U.S. and somehow uh, when we talk about, especially African Americans and Black Americans have been socially disadvantaged uh, when it comes to medicine uh, with uh, Tuskegee experiments and things of that nature. So there is a level of sometimes mistrust and distrust that comes for patients. And I think just me and my presence alone and letting them understand that I'm aware of that because I'm in that diaspora as well. And I think trying to close that just by giving them the best care, which they will receive from countless of other people, but especially with having a black doctor as well to know that I see you, I understand you, and we're gonna move forward together. So I think representation, I know there's a lot of catchphrases and a lot of words when we talk about DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, um, but I think representation truly matters. It matters for patients that are in the hospital, and it matters for future trainees as well, because uh, unfortunately, if it wasn't for folks like Dr. Bell, uh, I didn't see a lot of black physicians. Uh, actually, as you probably well know, 6% uh, of uh, U.S. doctors in the United States, of course, uh, are black. And that, that is, that's a very dismal number. And those numbers haven't changed in the past 20 or 30 years. So we have to kind of move the needle. And I think just the presence of loan, of having more people that look like me, helping patients that look like me as well.